Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today we are working on a 2003 Peterbilt 379. Talking about the uh, clutch linkage here. I'm going to try to go over as quickly and efficiently as possible. The best way to do it and the tools required. Well, first things first, taking off the air tank. These little sons of guns, half inch even though they were in perfect condition, sometimes they just stripped out. The half inch just wouldn't take them off. If you are able to sneak in here on the sides and take off the mount for it, which is this one I couldn't get, so I just took off the three quarter inch bolts here, two of them on the side. As you can see, that is the bracket that holds your U-bolt to it. This side I was able to get. I had a long extension that I ran to the back and I was able to sneak the impact on it and take it off. Otherwise you gotta get a ratchet wrench half inch and just slowly work them or if you can get a ratchet back there, whatever you can do, but it's half inch to take them off. Three different air hoses here, different sizes. We got 15 16 13 16 and this little guy is an 11 16 It's a little bit of room between the air tank and that, but you can work them off pretty easily. So now we pull the air tank off and we are looking at the clutch linkage itself. Three quarter inch bolt. Well, actually first to get to that, I had to take these, all these lines off and down. These are all also half inch bolts. Got one in the back here, one here, one here. I just zip, -toe, zip tied them down out of the way. Now we're able to get to our first clutch linkage bolt, three quarter inch. Pretty easy to get that off. Then this son of a gun takes a little bit longer. You need three, uh, you need one three quarter inch wrench with a ratchet. The other side you, I was ratcheting on, spray the crap out of it with your penetrating fluid and just little by little, slowly work that thing off. Slowly but surely work that thing off. And it does it is a bolt, so it does spin. So I got a three quarter inch on this side. I just vice gripped it to the um, frame here. And also, as you're loosening it, your clutch pedal itself is gonna wanna be moving around. So I just vice gripped underneath it, forcing it to stay exactly where it is. At first I had the uh, little tarp strap along the pedal to the back here just to um hold it up but once you start wrenching it off that's not gonna work so yeah i got this vice grip underneath it slowly but surely with your three quarter inch ratchet wrench slowly work that nut off I'll take it off and you got yourself your clutch linkage there we go honestly the toughest part was just slowly but surely getting in a shoulder workout taking off that nut and it is a little bit tough getting the these half inch nuts off if you can get the three quarter inch bolts out of the frame that might uh, be easier but i was not able to get to it within how the tank was on and situated here's our hardware spring looks good actually probably wouldn't hurt to replace since you're already doing all this work. But yeah, hope you guys have a great day. Oh yeah, also I did put these pads down on the batteries because you kind of lay down and crank on that thing. It's kind of tough to get up in there. So I just put these pads down, put a piece of cardboard down, whatever. But I was basically laying on the batteries and uh, ratcheting. So yeah, hope it helps.